Home is a place to laugh, learn, and play, and a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kida, we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. This Fire Safety Month, join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety, so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org. Hello, Critter Protectors. Mr. Jim here, and welcome to Kids Animal Stories, a place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! On the last episode, we saw that our friends Henry and Selena had gone on an adventure... Uh, quite a bit too far from their home and had gotten caught in the middle of a big thunderstorm. Let's see what happens next. Henry and Selena were both huddled together up under a tree. This thunderstorm had now quickly turned into a ginormous heavy rainstorm. The rain was coming down harder and harder as each minute passed. Henry's jet black fur and Selena's patterned black and tan spots became completely soaked as the rain came pouring down on top of them. Henry, I'm I'm scared, whimpered Selena. It's okay, Selena. Henry mustered up some courage to get some words out and said, I'm I'm Henry Midnight and I'll keep you safe. Henry enjoyed pretending but this time he was actually scared deep down. He was used to small superhero adventures, but this was a real adventure. A real adventure a bit too big for such small cubs. The rain poured and lightning struck on all sides of them. Crash, boom, and the wind blew. As they both watched the once calm river become deeper and faster. Finally, the water spilled over the edge of the river. Selena looked down and said, Henry, Henry, the water's getting deeper. My my feet are, are now uh, like thin water. Henry's eyes started to dart around as he looked for a place for them to get away from this flood. That's exactly what was happening. The water was coming down so fast in the rain that the river was starting to flood the entire forest. Selena, come on, we gotta climb up this tree right here. Come on. Henry jumped and used his claws to grip onto the tree and pull himself up. And Selena was close behind. She was pretty good at climbing trees, so this was a good option for them. How high do we need to go? Said Selena. I'm not sure, but let's keep going, said Henry. Yeah, we need to make sure that that water won't get anywhere near us, said Selena. It's a good thing that they chose to climb up that tree, because all of a sudden that river became very deep amidst the whole forest. The whole forest was now underwater. Henry and Selena had now climbed about 15 feet up this tree, high up above the ground that was now covered in water. Oh, wow. We made it. Okay. Selena, are you... Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I, I just don't know what we're gonna do now. We're like stuck up this tree. It's gonna be okay. Maybe we can uh, like jump from branch to branch on these trees and start heading in the direction of home. Okay, I can try, said Selena. The rainforest that they lived in had very ginormous trees with very thick branches that they could run on. It's a good thing because it made it a lot easier for them to travel from tree to tree, especially in an emergency like this. After what seemed like an eternity, the rain finally slowed down a bit, and the siblings were able to shake out their fur and shake out all that water. 
Selena, it looks like uh, the flood water might be down. Maybe I think we're up on higher ground. Look, he pointed down to the ground, which was actual ground. I think he was right. They had jumped up on some trees to get to higher ground. And so that flood was further downstream of them. Come on, Selena, let's get back to the ground and try and retrace our steps to head back home. Selena timidly followed behind as they jumped down from the tree and followed the river's edge, being careful not to slip into its rushing water. Uh, let's pretend we're coming back from an amazing hunt, Selena. Henry was trying to change the mood to not being so scared and, uh, you know, cheer it up a little bit. You see, jaguars are naturally very cautious and quiet by nature, and Selena definitely fits that description uh, quite a bit more than Henry. Henry is uh, a little bit less cautious than most other jaguars. After some time, Selena relaxed a little bit, became a lot more playful again with Henry. Selena, I, I think I recognize this tree, don't you? Wait, what was that sound? All of a sudden, they heard this loud crashing and rustling sound in the bushes around them. Ah, what is that? They both yelled right in front of them. It was an enormous wild boar. It had run out from under a fallen tree and very loudly was trying to find a clear path to dash away. In a blink, it was gone. Do you know what a wild boar is? Oh yeah, it's a very big wild pig. That was amazing, shouted Henry. I didn't know that was, that was terrifying, shouted Selena. If the cubs had been a bit older, maybe they would have tried to chase it for a yummy meal, but it was much too fast and much too large for their age, and they, they really needed to get home after this wild and crazy day. Someday, I'm going to hunt a boar like that, Henry went on. Okay, okay, but now come on, let's get home, said Selena. The sun was setting, but both cubs made it home just in time. Henry! Selena! yelled their mom. I was so worried about you. That storm blew through so fast. I thought I lost you forever. Oh, mother, don't you know? I'm Henry Midnight the Superhero! And this here is Selena, the River Queen. Oh, I like that, the River Queen, said their mom. Yeah, we did get lost a little bit, but we found our way home, said Henry. Yes, mother, and Henry kept me safe, Selena chimed in. Henry and his mother talked some more, even though make-believing he was a superhero was exhilarating and fun, he was sure happy to be back home safely. Wow, what an amazing adventure. I'm so glad that Henry and Selena got home safely amidst all that crazy, scary storm. Storms can be scary when you're out stuck in the middle of them, right? Yeah, I would rather be at home looking out the window watching a big storm roll through. And I think Henry and Selena learned a valuable lesson to stay close to home, especially if there's a storm on the way. The end. Hey, great job. You listened all the way to the end. If you want to make it official and join our recruiter protector team, guess what? Down in the show notes below, there's a link for your parents to click on, fill out an absolutely free form where we will send you your free critter protector badge in the mail. <laughs> that is the first step towards becoming a critter protector. And then you'll receive some challenges and adventures. And wow, we're only just getting started can't wait for our next adventure i'll see you there home is a place to laugh learn and play and a place where everyone should always feel safe that's why at kidda we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause this fire safety month join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org.